As you know, the Control Trends Awards, uh, the voting is uh, going to end January 15th, and we're endeavoring to get as many of our nominees on Control Trends as we can so that our Control Trends community can make informed decisions about who they're voting for. So tell us a little bit about our, um, our nominee today and our guest on the show today. Love to, Eric. We have with us William Dunkelberger. He's the president of Blue Ridge Technology out of the greater Atlanta area. Bill's a, just a very you know experienced guy in the industry. He's been through uh, all the rigors from the you know ground up, working in the warehouse, learning about the products, being part of the product manufacturing. Guy really truly knows the nuts and bolts of the industry. So welcome to the show. Bill. Hey, welcome, Bill. Glad to have you. Hi, Ken. Hey, Eric. So glad to have you, Bill. Man, thanks for taking a few minutes to talk with us today. For our viewers out there who might not know, uh, Blue Ridge Technologies and Bill and his company are up for six Control Trends Awards. Uh, so, Bill, first of all, congratulations on that. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate the endorsement of your listening audience. It's been a great thing. We really enjoy working with you and the, all of them. Well, it's fantastic, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention you guys are platinum sponsors for the Control Trends Awards again. And I tell you what, without enlightened companies like Blue Ridge supporting the Control Trends Awards, they wouldn't happen. So thank you very much for that well, as well. Thank you, and thank you for doing what you're doing. Like I said, we're really glad to be affiliated with you. Well, Bill, tell us a little bit more about Unified Control. Come at it from a control perspective rather than a building or electrical distribution perspective. And I have someone along with me who can really answer that much better than I can. I'd like to introduce everybody, you two, to the whole Control Trends folks out there to Dennis Swoboda, our Vice President of Sales and Marketing. Dennis has been in the industry since prior to being born and uh, is really uh, quite knowledgeable about it and uh, can do a good job of answers. Hey, Dennis, would you come in here for a minute? Hello, everybody. Oh, cool. Hey, well, hey, welcome to the show, Dennis. Welcome to the show, Dennis. Dennis, tell us a little bit more about uh, Blue Ridge Technologies. What makes the Blue Ridge Technology approach to lighting different? One of the things that we've learned from, from customers in the marketplace is that lighting control, as it's been traditionally delivered, does not meet the needs uh, for the current building. Uh, what happens is it's delivered through the electrical side, and they end up with two completely separate systems. That means two networks, two front ends, and two software packages to maintain. What that means is every time they need to make a change in that building, they're going to two separate systems. Our solution eliminates that by eliminating the, the totally separate system, bringing it all onto one unified system. It means one network, one front end, and also one point of accountability. So that means anytime anything happens in your building, regardless of whether it's temperature controls or lighting controls, you have one person to call that can come in and fix it. The sustainability of the product line and the fact that they can utilize it on one platform means that not only can they centralize and program everything from one point, but it also means that we can start to take advantage of synergies by sharing information between the systems that were traditionally kept as, as completely separate. Dennis, you guys are having huge growth uh, in the marketplace. What do you attribute this success to? You know, we're really finding that not only end users, but engineers are really seeing the value of moving the lighting controls into the scope of the, of the energy management or the building automation system. Uh, again, it eliminates the extra costs associated with multiple networks and disparate systems. Um, in addition, we've, we're finding, and uh, I'm based out of California, so the new energy code is Title 24. It's really expanding and increasing the complexity of it. So we're adding not only uh, daylight harvesting, but demand response, plug load, and a lot of dimming. And that increases the importance of having a unified system so that it makes it easier to control and to maintain throughout the life cycle of the building. Okay, Dennis, uh, one of the questions I've been waiting to ask is that um, Blue Ridge Technologies has been nominated for Energy Saving Solutions of the Year. That's a big, you know, that's a big, uh, big important category. What does, uh, how, how much money uh, can a Blue Ridge Technology uh, installation save? You know, through the different control strategies that we can utilize with our products, you can actually cut down around 80% of the lighting usage in a building. In addition, you can actually get a little bit more savings because of the synergies by sharing information back and forth, lighting and, and, and the HVAC side can work together to make sure that each room is uh, maximized as far as its efficiency for not only uh, 
the temperature, uh, but the light level, and most importantly, for the comfort of the occupant in that area. This is that you leverage. You don't, as Dennis mentioned, there's not two networks. So there's not two sets of cable, two sets of installation there. Since it shares a front end, then your, your training's cut in half because the end user ends up using a familiar tool that they can leverage and they know and they like and they're getting it from, they're buying it from people they know and trust. Okay, Bill, so uh, you're nominated as an executive of the year and that's an incredibly challenging position and, and I know you've got a great background with Carrier, ALC, MCON, USA, and I know that you went to the University of Pennsylvania Wharton School, which is an incredibly, it's a premier uh, school. What, what is your leadership philosophy? Thanks, Ken. It was a great, it's a great honor to be nominated as a small manufacturer executive of the year. Great companies require great customers and it requires great people that are committed to the customer and committed to each other. And I think rather than me tell you about what a great a team I have, I think you can learn for yourself by meeting a, one of our newest members. His name's Rocky Moore and he heads up business development for us. He also has a fresh perspective coming from the building automation side. Rocky? Welcome to the show, Rocky. Welcome to the show, Rocky. Go Steelers. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, one of the things that was really important to me when I first started looking at this position, I uh, was talking to Dennis and Bill and I uh, started looking at the product line, is I immediately realized that there was this complete customer-centric focus, a real market focus. I mean, coming from an HVAC manufacturing side of things, where I deal with a lot of integrators, um, I was doing regional sales and, and business development. I saw a lot of things from the product development side where customers would have a specific need, um, but sometimes those needs would be sort of overlooked by the techn technological direction the company was trying to take. And as I was exploring the solutions, what I really found out was Blue Ridge has been paying attention, significant attention, to the way their products are developed to make their customers' lives easier, to make the market market actually get something that they can use and uh, actually reduce cost, uh, save energy, and um, you know, lower install time. And all those things are very important to a contractor. Um, something that I saw from the product side was products that are being developed have a similar footprint to legacy product. That is something I've seen in the HVAC side that's very rare because everyone's trying to shrink things or do things differently, but they're ignoring certain aspects of the install. Um, you want to go into a panel, you want to be able to get in and get out of there and lower your install costs so you can be competitive on the job. Um, those things are very important, and Blue Ridge has paid significant attention to those things. Something just something as small as having a Bluetooth chip on a controller so that you can wires, wirelessly get on the back of the network uh, is a huge deal to technicians who are trying to get up in the ceiling panel or mess with something. I mean, how often have we seen a, a contractor sit on a bucket in a mechanical room, his computer, trying to get something done? And wire up to things and get direct uh, links into things, and uh, we re they're really we are really paying attention to those uh, specific little things that are very big things to the contract. Rocky, talk to me a little bit about how your approach actually does save integrators money on time and installation. Exactly. I mean, it has a lot to do with the integrators. I mean, at the end of the day, what this comes down to is uh, you know cost and energy savings. So what you want, what someone wants when they're in a retrofit situation, for example. Uh, you go in and you see there's actually a panel there. Uh, some of the relays maybe have been jumped, or maybe the solution isn't working the way the customer wants. Well, now you have a solution like Blue Ridge Technologies that you want to replace there. But oftentimes, in different scenarios, they may, a company may not have the product set up correctly so that you could do a quick changeout. What we've done is set it up so that you can either keep the relays, or actually you can change the whole entire uh, interior of the panel out without needing to change the panel. What this effectively does is lower the cost significantly because you're not spending a lot of time with a, a contractor down there trying to replace little things and change things to fit the new model. The mold is just the same. Uh, so we're looking at panel changeouts on retrofit scenarios that are 15 to 30 minutes per panel. It's quick, it's efficient, it's easy, and it's very cost effective. Build stuff for Executive of the Year plus the PID award, which is passion, integrity, and dedication. Presses me as being a pretty passionate guy and dedicated guy. What can you, what can you say about uh, Bill? He does what he says he's going to do. I mean, flat out, that's, that's one of the things when we were always in the whole interview process looking to come on board and I was pretty amazed by what was going on with the product and the, the market focus. You know, obviously that can be all good, but when you're going to get into a company, it's the people really, it's the culture that, that really is the, you know, the 80% uh, when you're getting to a company. And, uh, uh, and that's someone who said, I'm going to do this and, and he meant it. And when he said it, you knew it was going to get done. And that's, that is the culture of the company. Bill, you guys are nominated for Best Technical Support 
uh, small manufacturer, as well as your Nick Bear is up for best technical support person, small manufacturer. Speak a bit, if you will, about your and Blue Ridge's philosophy on technical support. It's first. It has to be first because they're out there on the firing line. They are Blue Ridge Technologies. And that's what we look at our job as being, is enabling them. And without good tools and good people to stand behind it, especially after regular business hours and on weekends and on holidays. Wow. So you mean you mean that we can get hold of you 24-7? I hadn't had to do that yet, but uh, that's great to know. We all carry uh, iPhones. Those iPhones ring and work 24-7, 365 days a year for our partners. Okay, Bill, now's the chance to, to uh, brag about some of your people. Uh, Nick Bear has been nominated for the best technical support uh, from a ma- small manufacturer. What can you tell us about Nick? Nick's very smart, a very aggressive, and a very hardworking uh, young person, and I feel very, uh, very privileged to have him on the team and to have him to select this as his career. Nick came to us through our intern program, and it wasn't like uh, he was was looking to get into this business. You know, a lot of folks they don't wake up in the morning wanting to be a controls guy. I think very highly of Nick. I'm very proud that he's on the team. I think he represents us well. And I've got him right here. How about you talk to him a little bit? Hey, Nick. Wow. Hey, well, welcome, Nick. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, Nick. Well, thank you for having me, guys. Glad to have you on the show. Well, well, we get to speak personally for Nick uh, because, you know, Stromquist and Company, he's our tech support guy. So our folks love him. So uh, we, we think you do a fantastic job. So, uh, Nick... Uh, What's it like doing tech support at Blue Ridge Technologies? Uh, well, if I'm being honest, it's not always easy, uh, but it is always satisfying. So it's something that we take great pride in, supporting our customers, meeting their needs. Uh, and like Bill and Dennis and Rocky have all touched on, making you successful companies. And where that's really, uh, you know, the rubber meets the road is in the support department. So you bought the product, you're on site, what do I do with it? That's where we really shine. Uh, one of the things we're trying to do at, at Control Trends, Nick, is, is we know you're, you're what we would consider a young gun. You're a younger guy. And one of the things we're trying to do with Control Trends is trying to do along with Ken Sinclair and others is attract younger people into our industry. Why would they want to come into our industry? What, what, what advice would you give them about our industry? And, and, and why would this possibly be a great career for them? Uh, I think you have to be very exciting, uh, excited and willing to accept challenges. Uh, technical support, you often don't get calls saying your product's great and I, I just love doing business with you guys. It's always, I'm on site, I have this problem, I need it fixed yesterday, what can you do for me? Uh, and you have to have a special kind of personality to respond in that situation and not just respond but enjoy it. Uh, so you have to be someone that's willing to work hard, uh, to face challenges and to love doing it. Very, very cool. There you have it. Nick Bear nominated for Best Technical Support, Small Manufacturer. Thanks a lot, Nick. Good luck. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Nick. See you in Orlando. See you in Florida. All right. All right. Uh, finally, Bill, Inquiring Minds want to know, we have the uh, first annual Systems Integrator of the Year Award, and Inquiring Minds want to know, who are you pulling for? Who are you going to vote for? Well, there can only be one for us, and that's ATS Seattle. Go oh. ATS Seattle. Now, why, why ATS Seattle? Because they're a great group of people that feel about their customers the way we do, and they do a heck of a job. Well, there you have it. That's a great endorsement. We hope to get those people on uh, the show. They're out of Seattle, a big Allerton dealer we understand and do a fantastic job. So we hope we'll get them on the show before the voting ends. All right, Bill, the wrap-up question, the million-dollar question is, how do our Control Trends community members get a hold of Blue Ridge Technology? Time to get introduced to us and take a look at what we have and get the requisite numbers and contacts. Go to the website, brtint.com. Perfect. There you go, Bill Duckelberger from Blue Ridge Technologies. Bill, thanks a lot, buddy. Kenny, tell us about our next post, big dog. 